My, my, is that Cassandra of Aeid? The eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, she who launched a thousand hearts? Elkibiades. I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orchimethes here could use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. You would have my eternal gratitude. What's the job? Have you ever heard of Braxila? The name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her, but talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Oh, nonsense. Usually you give a woman some flowers, and she'll show you her flower. However, this is Praxila. She is not easily impressed. Of course. No ordinary flower will do. They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, none match the scent and radiance of the coral rose. Fetch some, and all doors and legs shall open for you. I'll return with your flowers. I've heard enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, You'll return to me with the coral rose. As a poet, it's best that I stay at camp while you do the hiking. You'd be an easy snack for wolves or bears. I'll return with the roses. Be the coral roses. I found your coral roses. You're back. That that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now you must deliver them to her. You came all this way to meet her. You should be the one to do it. Please, I'm much too nervous to speak to her. I've composed a poem to recite. Here, let me teach you. I'd say it all wrong. I'm a mystios, not a poet. Then, would you at least deliver the flowers while I rehearse? Fine, but the rest is up to you. Okay. She's at her tent, right there. Go give them to her. Praxila, I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of... somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes ago? <gasps> Cassandra Vayed, may I introduce you to my dear friend Praxila? Apollo's muse and mistress of the Golden Strings. Your Praxila? Didn't expect an aged bard, mercenary of Ayat? It would be foolish of me to assume a master of the craft would be young. Praxila, this is Cassandra of Aeid, eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, launcher of a thousand... Cassandra, caca, care stone and light alike, leaves ladies and lads a light alive, ailing women and awestruck men cling to her side. Ah, a true genius. Look at those shoulders. A soldier, a Spartan, a thorn in the side of tyrants, she who dares challenge Poseidon, Alcibiades, this one I'm keeping my eyes on. The poems she writes about me are never so kind. I have flowers for you. They're not from me. They're from uh, Orchimedes. He's right over... Well, he was over there. A coral rose? Huh. I'll have to get my servant to add these to the pile.
I also prefer actions to easy gestures. Where is that serpent girl? I swear her head must be rattling with rocks. Mm, I wish she'd rattle my rocks. A haikos is missing. That idiot must have taken it with her and run off. A haikos? A haikos is Praxila's legendary liar. I set it down after tuning moments before you arrived. I can't go on stage without a haikos. I did see Orchimedes leaving in quite a hurry. We need to get that liar back. Please, without Praxila getting everyone's juices flowing, this festival is just a bunch of young men measuring the size of their verse. I'll find the thief and return the liar. Do you know a man named Orchimedes? Orchimedes... Orchimedes. That's the kid who hangs out around the Vipers. Yeah, I know him. He's been coming to the festival for three or four years, maybe. The Vipers? Who are they? You know how it is. People feel small, so they band together to make the rest of us feel smaller. They took over the temple of Athena Itonia a while back. Now it's hard to take the road without being held at knife point. Do you think that's where Orchimedes would take a liar? <sighs> Hope not. For his sake, the Vipers are dangerous. If he did have the liar on him, they'd probably rough him up for it. <sighs> He's one of those kids that'd be keeping around for fodder, if you get me. Thank you for your help. Hope you find the liar. Watch out for the Vipers at the Temple of Athenaitonia. that servant. The one who disappeared at the same time as the liar. I can explain. Orchimedes talked me into it and said he'd use the drachmi to buy my freedom. When we escaped, he said he wanted to bring the liar to the vipers. I said no. The viper said yes. So, the vipers have Orchimedes and the liar now. As for you, you can go back to Praxila and apologize if you really want help. That must be where they're keeping Orchimedes and the liar. Gods, I'm saved. These horrible thugs blackmailed me into stealing the liar. I doubt that. They took it from me when I was captured. <laughs> Malaga! Got what they deserved. Did they force you to steal Praxila's liar? No. They gave me the confidence I was lacking. We would drink and complain about poetry at the festival, and I let slip that Praxila's my mother. What? Praxila's your mother? She is. She abandoned me and my father when I was a child. Something about following her destiny to be a wandering poet. My father, Achaikos, built the lyre for her as a wedding present. She loved it more than us. I just... I wanted her to feel the way we did when she left. Praxila was born with a calling for the arts. It was her right to follow it. She should have thought of that before she decided to have a family. I wish my father had never made her that lyre. Speaking of the lyre, I know you have it. Malaka, I do, but it was damaged in the struggle. Wait, before you leave, I need some advice. Should I talk to Braxila? I don't know what to do. Approach Braxila as yourself and talk to her. Maybe she missed you and didn't know how to come home. 
I need time to think about everything. My father, my mother, my friends. Please don't tell Braxila who I am. I was able to get the lyre, but not in one piece. Thank you. Oh, Haikos, what mischief did you get yourself into? Oh, Cassandra, thwarter of thieves. I appreciate you bringing a high cost back to me, but I need to ask another favor. You need help fixing the lyre. Perceptive, too. Look at it. Wood's gone soft, body splintered, it's toneless, toolless even. What can be done to save it? Cressis has been having this festival for years. The town is built around it. Of course, because instruments are as fragile as a poet's heart, there's a master lyre maker at Cressis port. Not too far away. And since it's been proven that nothing is safe on these hills, I'll need some muscle for protection. I can help you get there safely. The journey will be worth your while. Come now. I'm right behind you. I have many fond memories of this place. I've watched the port grow into... ...and a small gathering of friends grow into a massive festival. It's more home than home. Your true love is a liar and your home is a poetry festival? You never wanted to settle somewhere? Oh, you sweet young child. My life isn't as simple as you make it out to be. Unlike Zephyros, needing to go where I please. I learned this the hard way. So you care only for yourself? If you only live your life for others, what's the point? You're nothing but a slave. A loyal beast at best. People can get hurt. If I had lived the life expected of me, traditional and domestic, I would have died. Died inside. And like is not, thrown myself into the sea. I know what I need. Seems like the festival here is much less formal than the others I've encountered. Yes, Dionysus claimed our offerings to Apollo and granted us the gift of ecstasy. I can see why it would attract people from far and wide. Do not misunderstand. Hidden is one part of worship, but there are... Timiha, where are you? Who is making all that fucking noise? Ah, uh, the smell of the sea is almost enough to cover your stench, Timiha. Raxila, I've been gathering fruits to throw at you all week. High praise coming from you. I need a favor. A Haikos was kidnapped by some idiot and needs a new neck. This idiot? Sadly, there have been many idiots on this journey. I hired this muscle here to get a high cost back. Now she's keeping me company. All right, give him here. Poor fellow's been brutalized. But you can fix it, right? Of course I can fix him. I am the best pair of hands you're going to find outside of Athens. Problem is, a high cost is a special boy. I have materials, but nothing worthy of putting him together. What materials do you need? I have what I need for the neck, but the old one took the strings and yoke out when it snapped. Ah, there's a crack running through the sound box. That needs to be replaced. What should I be looking for? Some use bone for the yoke and neck, but nothing beats wood in my opinion. Strings are made from gut, and we could use a shell for the sound box. I will return with the materials to repair Haikos. Fierce animals. I'll go. Hope these are enough guts for fixing a high cost. This shell should be perfect for Praxila's liar. Should be enough wood for a new liar. I have everything we need. Excellent. Give it here. Be careful with it. 
He'll like me better when I'm done. You always were too rough with your fingering. Well, that's the first complaint I've heard about it. There he is, looking more handsome than ever. You call this your best work? You're robbing me blind. Oh, shut up, and go deafen the masses with your wailing. Thanks for the help. Here's your drachmi. I need some time to put a high cost through spaces. I might need some help after, though, so swing by my tent when you have a minute. Sure, if I'm in the area. The Mistyos returns. Do you have time to accompany me and Achai Kos to our triumphant performance? After all this, I wouldn't miss it. Excellent. We team up once more. So we're a team now. Can I still expect to get paid? After my performance, Drachmi will be in no short supply. Trust me. You've dedicated your life to your art. You must have a lot to show for it. I write a hundred poems every night when I go to sleep, and I throw out a hundred every morning when I wake up. Luckily, some have survived to touch people. Do you have any favorites? There's one I'm well known for that is very dear to me. The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. Then ripe cucumbers, apples and pears too. Sounds nice. But we should get going. So, cucumbers. The sun gives us the fruit of the trees, like the fruit of the loins. In your poem, you say you leave the sun. Why? <laughs> Not me. Avonis. He's being asked upon death about the most beautiful things he's left behind. To me, there is no greater beauty than that of the sun and the moon and stars. Oh. Why is he being asked this? Adonis is beauty incarnate. What could be so beautiful that even he would be paying to leave? I see. Looks like we've made it. Mar... It's Praxila! I heard she was coming this year. Praxila! Recite something for us. I've been reciting this poem for years. Cassandra, would you do me the kindness of allowing me to hear it anew from your lips? I couldn't. Nonsense. You know everything you need to do it justice. How about something new this year? The most beautiful thing I leave is the light of the sun. Praise be Apollo! Second are the shining stars and the face of the moon. This is one of my favorites. Then, ripe cucumbers, apples, and pears, too. That's always been my favorite verse. I'm happy my poem touched you so deeply, Cassandra. Have you thought about trading your spear for the lyre? I will stick to swinging swords, thanks. It wouldn't be a poetry festival without someone causing a disturbance. Praxila, get to safety. I can handle them. Every year, some cursed idiots drink too much wine and get themselves killed. I didn't know poetry festivals were such lively events. Indeed. I need to take a moment to recover. Let's go back to my tent. Ah, 
but we do have a happy ending. Braxila, it has taken me long years of soul searching and many nights of tears to bring myself to this moment. I am Archimedes, your son. When I heard the name of the man who stole my lyre, I suspected it might be you. I've dreamt of hurting you as you hurt me and my father a thousand times. But I only knew you as the mother who abandoned me, and not as the artist that I just saw. Just as Adonis lamented the beauty he left behind, I too left that which was most precious to me on the death of my old self. You're not dead. Neither of you are. Take this opportunity and see what you can build together. Thank you for all your help. The new poem I'm working on is my favorite yet. <laughs> 